fired up with some interesting uh, news. You guys have probably been watching the news or at least seeing the headlines uh, on the internet, but the 30-year fixed mortgage rate reached a two-year high, actually since almost two years, since March of 2020. Um, the, the Fed has pushed that rate up now to 3.45% interest rate. Now, a year ago, one year ago today, it was 2.79, and that had been up from the all-time low of 2.65 the first week of January. So if you do the math, and if my math is correct, that is about a 40% increase in a year's time. That's a large large, it's probably the largest increase uh, on record for a year. So in other words, to have a rate go up 40% interest rate in a year is significant. I expect that this rate will go from the current three and a half percent to probably four and a quarter by the end of the year, maybe higher. Um, and what's the effect of this? Why is this important to you guys? Well, uh, two things affect the housing market. Uh, number of buyers, and slash number of sellers, but primarily the number of buyers drive pricing in the housing market. And the second thing is interest rates. The, you know, the, all the real estate uh, crew, uh, realtors, brokers, uh, the National Association of Realtors, I should say, will tell you that the number of buyers is really the only driving force. Um, in other words, if there is a ton of buyers out there, there, uh, there's going to be a, an increased demand or more demand than there is supply, and that's going to push prices up. Um, I'm in the other camp, which is really interest rates drive everything. So if money is cheap or free, people will take advantage of it. We saw that in the last two years when the government was giving away all this money. Uh, you still see it as recently as November, which had the highest quitting my job rate of all time for one month. Um, and people got used to over the last couple of years being on the government dole. And so they could take advantage of, you know, free money uh, for not working. And the same thing applies, my belief is that the same thing applies in the housing market. In other words, if money is cheap, uh, darn near free, like it has been for the last couple of years, uh, you know, went down starting March of 2020 and it dropped from where it is now down to that 2.65 rate, and now it's back up to darn near three and a half percent. That prices a lot of people out of the intro, out of the, the housing market. So let's say, for example, um, $1,000 a month interest payment with $100 principal, about $1,100 a month for a housing payment. That number will have gone now to about $1,400 of interest instead of 1,000 from a year ago. So the, the difference from a $1,000 payment to a $1,400 payment prices a lot of people out of the market. And the number one factor in terms of the number one group of buyers out there right now is the millennial, millennials. Um, those in that particular age group, they're coming, you know, 30 is considered and has always been considered the prime first time home buyer age. You know, when people get to be 30 in this country over the last 20 years, that's when they really want to start buying a house for the first time. And that's where the heart of the millennial batting order is from 88 to 92, 93 um, birth dates, birth years. Uh, we're right in the middle of that right now. And so, you know, a large number of those folks uh, in that age group can't necessarily afford a $400 bump. Um when we had the crash of 2007, 8, 9, depending on how you want to, what, what time period you want to count on it, uh, it was because interest rates adjusted up when um, these teaser rates that they sold on these adjustable rate mortgages uh, came up for the first adjustment. And the equivalent I read uh, in the Wall Street Journal last week, the equivalent was like a $200 increase. And that knocked millions of people out of their ability to make a, a home payment. In other words, a, a bump of $200 per month back then, now granted that was you know 14 years ago, but a $200 bump in payment at that point made a lot of people unable to make their housing payments. Now we've got a bump of about $400 from a year ago. And you know sooner or later, uh, that will catch up to the market. You're just gonna see less buyers um, even if there is not enough product on the market for sale, in other words, not enough houses available on the market to, for buyers to buy, it won't matter because there'll be so many less buyers because they're priced out of the market. 
So we will see what happens. Um, I didn't expect we'd get till three and a half, probably until the fall of this year. But here we are, January 18th, 2022, and we're already 3.45% um, on the, the, the uh, loan rate for an FHA standard conforming loan. So keep in mind that a lot of non-conforming type loans are gonna be priced higher than that. So if you have a jumbo loan that's beyond the FHA limit, now FHA just raised their limits, but let's say that you have a, you know, in most states, a six or $700,000 house, those loans are going to be priced at 375 to 395. Uh, once again, a year ago, those were close to the conforming rate of 265, 27, 28, that kind of thing. Now they've jumped up to 4% or close to 4%. And they're approaching it. And I, I, I expect that this spring, you'll see rates pierce that 4% level for the, the jumbo type mortgages, the non conforming stuff. And um, that will really have a uh, if nothing else, a mental effect, an emotional effect on people's ability to want to buy a house. Uh, people will just say, I ah, forget it. It's not worth it. In the meantime, you're going to see brush fires all over the country. You're going to see the NRA, run, the National Association of Girls, NAR, um, run around and tell you that, you know, the house is on fire and, you know, that kind of thing. And it's, I just wouldn't believe it. So, um, I know I'm a non-conformist to the standard talking heads out there that you're going to see on TV, but I just gave you my logic as to why I think that's going to happen. So we'll keep you updated as things change. Uh, I will let you know and uh, be glad as always to answer any questions you got. Speaking of questions.